Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. So we recently did a video studying radar cross sections and the effect of stealth aircraft in DSCS world and the effect on airborne radars, air intercept radars. So we were an F-15, we were an F-18, we were looking at stealthy aircraft and seeing what effect they had. And what we found out is some pretty good stuff, that it was very hard if not impossible to see the stealthy aircraft so the b1 bomber which has small stealth traits it was hard to see that very hard to see that compared to a bomber at the same size uh, b52 roughly that had no stealth attributes at all and a fully stealth aircraft like the uh, f117 we could all, we could barely see it at all in some planes like the f14 can't even see it a mile off its nose so um, it has a massive effect in DCS. So the next question you guys ask, of course, is, well, okay, what effect does it have on SAMs? Can I get my F-117 and drive it over, over a bunch of SAMs? And we have, uh, yes, it does have effect of SAMs in real life, obviously. But also, don't forget that the F-117A that we're going to use here was shot down in real life. I think one or two of them were shot down. And I forget if they were SA-6 or SA-2. Twos. I think SA6 has shot them down, didn't they? Correct me if I'm wrong. So let's see how they do in DCS. So what we've got is aircraft set up. We've got F117A aircraft here. We've got a control aircraft here, an F15C, roughly the same size, you know. And um, they're both doing exactly the same course, the same speed, the same altitude, against exactly the same SAMs at the same distance, and everything set up the same. Uh, they are going to fly at 400 knots of ground speed, or TAS, at 25,000 feet ASL. Their reaction to threat is nothing, so... They will just keep going straight forward, whatever happens, so we don't pollute the results. They will not be using chaff, and they will not be using ECMs, because we don't want that to mess with our data. Just pure radar uh, reflectivity. So off we go. Okay, let's set them going. So they are currently about 42 miles away from the first SAM. Let's just get everything set up how we want it. Okay, let's drive them forward and see what happens. Uh, absolutely no idea what's going to happen. I'm, I'm not even going to guess this time. I think, regards altitude, the maximum altitude of DSA six is about forty thousand. I think about sixty thousand for the buck and one hundred and fifty thousand for the SA ten. So we won't be going over any of them. That's for sure. So we're expecting that S fifteen to get shot at pretty soon. How far away is it? So it's 20 miles away now from the SA-6. If it's going to shoot, it's going to shoot. But there we go. It shot at its maximum range at the control aircraft at about 20 miles, exactly as we're expecting. It's probably going to hit that control aircraft. I think I told it to not use its jammer. We'll see. Thump in the face. Yep, so, well, what we're expecting. So what can the stealth plane do? So let's speed that up. It's not looking like the SA-6 is going to be able to see it at all. Certainly not from a frontal or a lower aspect, so belly aspect and front aspect, it hasn't seen it. So, and now it's not stealthy from the rear, remember, so we might get some shots from the rear, we'll just have to see. Can the buck see it? Now this could fire up to 60,000 feet, so we're, we're not even halfway to the altitude of this SAM system. So can it see it from the front and the belly? No. Okay. So that was, that was good so far. Right, can the S300 see it? This is a uh, Grumble PS series. can fire about up to 60 miles in optimum conditions and basically into space. So, so far we're doing pretty good. If it could see us easily, it would have fired at us about 40, you know, 20 miles away. So, obviously we're having a big effect on it. Let's see when it can or if it can fire at us. I don't, oh, there we go. Right, so it, the Grumble can see us at... 18 miles so we can't go even in an f117 we can't go directly above an s300 we can go towards it at a maximum range of just under 20 miles and it probably will hit us i don't know we'll have to see let's see how that goes that missile is going to loft up So that shows that in DCS this, this has got the more, uh, the better radar, uh, which we could prove to ourselves in other experiments. So, uh, like the ECM experiment. So we were expecting that, obviously. I think this is going to plug us. Oh, hello! Buck's launched. Now this is really interesting. Uh, the buck has launched at us uh, from behind. So that is telling us we're pretty confident. That's telling us that 
it has different radar reflectivity uh, at different angles and we were kind of arguing me, and me against the internet were arguing about that i thought dcs would probably measure that and a lot of people didn't think a lot of people think it would just be a spherical rcs a radar cross section and this pretty much proves that it aspect it is aspect variant so the rcs is aspect variant and so it can see from behind where it's slightly less stealthy it can't see from the front it can't see from the belly however it reflects that way i don't know but it can see behind i guess it's just too hard to you can see how it kind of nozzle uh, hides those nozzles there but for whatever reason the buck has managed to see it um so that's really interesting that should spur some conversation as well and that's promising because uh, the more we look into this the better it seems that uh, i know everyone's always moaning that dcs isn't modeled very well but frankly what from what I've, what I've seen those people haven't got a clue what they're talking about everything all this experiment i do the more I, we delve into it the better it actually seems to be modeled um so we're seeing aspect based rcs uh, modulation here which is interesting and we're probably gonna get thumped here so there's not, not much really we can test but I think we've got everything we need from that ah did we dodged it oh no it hit us <laughs> it's just well th th there was me saying um how oh unless I might have actually said it to invulnerable um I might have said it to invulnerable it might be my fault and obviously the SV hunter's gonna fire again let's just see if they take it down let's see if this um this guy here is going to get us. No, it's definitely not invulnerable. So it just sucked up the first hit, which is amazing because those warheads are massive on the S300. Well, I didn't really need to fight. What I was going to do there is uh, take it lower. Why don't we just do it anyway? Let's take it 10,000 feet and see if we, they can uh, see if the SA6 can shoot it then. Okay, let's fly now. So stealth is obviously affected massively by range. You know, it's proportional. The stealth effect is pretty much proportional to range. So he's two and a half times, or one and a half times? Mm, well, he's much closer. He's about 60% closer uh, to these guys when he goes over the top. So let's see if we can shoot with him now. And the SA6 still can't see us. Can it see from behind us? Oh, it can. Look at that. So it just got close enough um, at, you know, 10,000 feet. I don't know what... I don't, uh, I've got no way of measuring the slant range, but that's probably... Uh, well, if there's, what, 6,000 feet in a mile, in a nautical mile, that's 2.1. It's about eh, three miles slant, three and a half miles slant, something like that then it can see us, which is kind of what we'd expect. That's probably going to... Oh, look! A, oh, scratch it. There's something else. It's another experiment that's going on in the background, lols, for another video. That's probably going to whack us. Bump. Okay, I take it back. It appears it is actually a really weird damage model. It's probably an old plane, though, so I'm not going to worry too much about that. It is an old plane, isn't it? So it probably hasn't got a proper damage model on it. And thump in the tailpipe. Oh, I missed. Look at that. Mm, that was an expected. Ah, look. And that the reason because that is, is because it got beyond that two mile. Mm, well, it got beyond the distance where it could track. And so at that point, the track died. And um, oh, that was the end of it, really. Uh, can the buck see from the front this time at 10,000? No, that's interesting. It definitely will be able to see behind. Or if it doesn't, then I've got egg on my face because I must have done something wrong. Yes, it can definitely see behind. And this guy is going down, clearly. Boom! Yeah, I think it's probably just got a, a percentage-based uh, global damage model by the sounds of it. Uh, so, well, that's everything we can see there. The answer is yes, it does have... A, uh, a, a damage model, uh, sorry, it does have a damage model. Yes, it does have massive effect on SAMs, and it shows that we can just go over SAMs. Um, so we could just go over that one at 20,000 feet or odd. We couldn't go over an SA-11. Uh, we could go over a SA, couldn't go over an SA-10, sorry. Oh, God, so of course the next thing you're going to ask is how high do I have to be to go over them? Well, fine. <laughs> Okay, I've just put it as fast and as high as I can make it. That usually upsets DCS and it probably won't be able to maintain that. In fact, let me turn his fuel off so he doesn't carry any fuel. Okay, he's doing it. The highest we can get him to maintain is 32,000 feet. 
I don't know why that is. I just don't know anything about this aircraft, so... There's no point in me guessing. But the highest we can get him is 32,540. Let's see what he can do. It's going to go right over the SA6. We know that. And it's not going to go over the buck, I don't think. And it's definitely not going to go over the SA10. Can he escape? Can he escape? Wrong! <laughs> He's running away. I did tell him not to run away, but no, he can't get over it. Simple as, as that. So it didn't really make much difference. So you can go over some crappy old low range SAMs, but otherwise you can't go over those big range SAMs, but you can get to about 20 miles close to them before they have to shoot. Um, I think that's answered everything we could possibly ask there. See you. Um, I hope that helps and see you later.